Turn number four, green flag is out. Connors on the inside, Lavery the outside. Connors gonna come away with the lead, and he does, Lavery though, charging on the outside. Down the back straight, Lavery on the outside, and it is Connors, no, Lavery stays out there. Looked like Connors was gonna get the advantage, but Pat Lavery riding that high road, comes around the outside. Lavery takes the lead at the end of lap number one. And Otto Sitterly, Sitterly started eighth. He has picked off two already. It is the 12 of Lavery out in front. Here's Sitterly on the outside. Goes by the 0-2 of Ellinger up to the top five. Sitterly now running in fifth. In behind the 55 of Keith Champagne. Right now, looking very strong out there. Here comes Muldoon. Muldoon down to the inside, goes by the 0-1 of Danny Connors, up in the number two spot. Keep your eye on the hustler, Michael Barnes. He is working on the 0-2 of Brandon Bellinger. The 11 of Iosu and the 24 of Curran in the top 15. Meanwhile, out in front, trying to pull away now. Here comes Champagne. He gets by the Owana Connors up to third. Champagne up to third. Now, Sitterly working on Connors. Danny Connors, that car running as well as it has all year long but he's being worked on right now by the seven of Otto Sitterly. Sitterly looks to the outside in the seven, puts the hammer down between three and four on the outside. Here he goes, Sitterly, up to the number four spot. Connors now running in fifth, Bob Lavery out in front, Muldoon running in the number two spot. Champagne is still third, Sitterly is fourth. Your leader is up on the slower car. Muldoon is up on the leader. Here's Muldoon going to the outside. Muldoon around the outside of Lavery, just right on by him like he was standing still. Lavery now goes to the outside of Latulip, but it is. Took advantage of it. What a, I, I, you see me every once in a while, I got off my seat. I jumped off my seat for that. No, I think he's coming into the pits. And he brings the 0-1 straight into the pits. Uh, just, I think it just came around him, but it's up the spot, going down the back straight, gets underneath the 0-2 of Ellinger, and Abold now moves up to sixth in the 0-5. Abold, who got shuffled the back a little bit at the start of the race, and started in sixth. Lavery gonna pick up his second win of the year, third of his career, coming down out of the fourth quarter, checkered flag is out, the win goes to the 12 of Pat Lavery. Lavery is the winner, Muldoon is second, Champagne is third, Sinnerly is fourth, Barnes is fifth, Abel is sixth, Gruel is seventh. I was just trying to get everything I could get. Daniel's a good clean racer, he had a lot of fun racing with him. Uh, middle of the race there, I took a little too long getting around hell. And Michael made a great move to get by me, and I said, oh boy, I just screwed up there and caught a break with a caution flag. But he, he's a good racer too, I had fun racing with him. Uh, we were tight, and uh, we were having real trouble on the restarts. Just as soon as you get up behind someone, you lose the front wing, and just so tight, you can't get underneath anyone. But congrats to Pat. I, if anyone's gonna win but me, I'd like to see it be Pat, so congrats to him. It was real good. We, uh, we found some things wrong with it after the last race and came out and tested last night and uh, made a lot of gains and it showed tonight we were, had a good car. A really good side-by-side -side start and this time it is Jesse Barrett once again going right up and around the outside. Craig Harris in car number 04. Harris now who has started back and forth is now battling for the number three, number two spot as he hustles up and around the outside part of the speedway entering turn number three. Sized up there a little bit. Cameron Rowe and now Doyle taking a run in car number 01. Some good dicing around going back in the back straightaway down into turn number three, coming out of turn number four. Coming down the front straightaway. It is Barrett to hot you. But Dalton Doyle, your second place. Dalton now looking down onto the inside. Dalton taking a good look down onto the inside. Dalton drops the hammer down at the halfway point. At a back straightaway, we got a new leader going down into turn number three. Dalton Doyle, man, I gotta tell you, he is dialed in right now. Dalton has moved up into the number 74. He goes dancing down the back straightaway. Here is Cliff on the inside. Cliff has taken that spot away, and Patrick slides up the speedway a bit. He's going to drop back a couple of positions. Dalton Doyle, though, goes in 18th in car number 22. Mike works on Craig Harris for the number three spot. Mike has got that, or uh, yes, he does. He's got that number three position. Coming off of turn number four and down the front straightaway. Down to between turns number one and two. Up in front of him, Craig Harris doing all he can to hold on to that number four spot. 
Meanwhile, your leader's bringing it down here. There's under 10 to go, nine to go this time around. As they race down, Mike Bruce has taken away the number two spot and the 14 car. Some good driving here off of turn number two and there's that battle, Anthony Lacerdo works on the inside of Craig Harris, car number 04 and he's cleared him as he runs down to between turns number three and four. Bringing him down here in the front straightaway. Doyle, Bruce, Vera, Lasordo now up to fourth. Harris is back to the number five spot. And look who's coming up quickly too. It's Mike Bond in car number 74. The 04 Craig here. As they race down to the corner, Barrett still back there in the number three spot. They race going down the back straightaway. Your leaders coming out of turn four. This one's gonna be a scramble. The checkered is out. The win goes to Dalton Doyle, Mike Bruce is second. Here they come across right now. You know, I thought the car felt really good early on. And uh, you know, as soon as we got out there for the hot laps, the car was pretty flawless and I was pretty, pretty happy with what we had. And uh, after that caution on lap 21, um, Bruce gave me a shot in the rear bumper to let me know he was there as if I didn't already see it on the board. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I tried driving the thing twice as hard as I was driving it before and uh, it didn't feel like the car was going. I was getting a little worried. I'm like, man, did I, is, am I losing something? I don't know if I felt like the clutch was slipping. I just didn't feel like it was going, but um, I guess he got in my head a little bit. I guess I wanted this win tonight and uh, I'm glad to be here. No, I would have been happier without the caution flag. After, I don't know, Barrett panicked and just dumped, uh, dumped the 14 there, so hopefully they didn't think I was anything part of that. But uh, um, I like lap cars because it's a, a spot for aggressive drivers to shine, and, and we run him down, and I don't, we didn't have nothing for Doyle. He was on rails tonight. That kid's fast. He's got a great car. Him and his dad, same thing as the Lacerdos. They have a great program, and uh, we weren't going to have anything for him. So a second-place car was great. Uh, after that accident, that caution, my car just went to junk. I couldn't, couldn't do anything with it. So my, uh, my buddy Aaron, uh, he lost his father to a cancer battle this week, and he told me to put her in victory lane. So hopefully he's proud of the second place finish because that was the best I could get for him. It was pretty intense. Uh, I got into the back of Barrett over there a little bit, and uh, Dave or Bond, whoever was behind me, I didn't really check who finished fifth or fourth, but they hit me and I hit Bear up, and we were all crossed right up, and we just raced down the front straightaway. So I'm sorry to Jesse for... Uh, pretty much running them over, but I was getting ran over too. So it's a tough class, everyone's so close, and you gotta take a little beating and banging, I guess, as long as no one wrecks.